This is the office of Dr. Lee Branials. The date is October 18th, 2003. I'm sitting here with Detective John Zimmer, uh, case number 510 All J. Uh, due to the extreme circumstances of this case, Detective Zimmer has been asked to take a leave of absence for the next two months, along with mandatory consultation. Um, how are you feeling today, Detective? I'm okay. It's good. It's very good to hear. Now, I'd like you to tell me what happened. I'd like you to tell me from the beginning. <clears throat> For six months, Detective Roth and myself, along with Staff Sergeant McGowan, we have been building a case against Marcus Dussault, along with any and all connections we could find tied to him. We were able to apprehend a number of Dussault's men over the first few months for various offenses, but none of them ever saw the inside of a courtroom. We just hit a wall, you know? Nothing's coming through the wire. Nothing that we can really work with. Some weeks later, we're tailing who we believe to be Dussault's right hand when we get the call in. A bunch of Dussault's men are spotted along the Lower East Side. We weren't even supposed to be there. Just one of those out of the blue kind of things, you know? Just some boy on this paper room. The address was 859 37th Street, East Oakland. We had the confirmation. But at some point, they got a tip. They knew. We were coming. One of the suspects were armed and had been firing into a crowd five blocks east of my location. We were authorized to use deadly force. Hold my gun. I told him to get down. Get down now! I warned him. Myself. They say how I could have known. Just uh, taking shots in the dark. This is the Oakland PD, CI Division, DEA, March 18th, 1999. We have Officer Zachary Domingo as a volunteer for the Infiltration and Undercover Unit. But before we begin today, Mr. Domingo, uh, we at the department would just like to thank you for the sacrifice you're making today. Yes, sir. Absolutely. Just have you do my part. 